Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 44 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. On this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add sublime text. That way, if you're going to be doing any scripting, it's going to have an autocomplete for you. So uh, just in case you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, if you open up the root folder for Black Ops 3, you notice that there's a documents folder. It's also called documents mo underscore mod tools. And if you go into that folder, there's going to be a raw file that's going to say GSC Sublime. Now, what this is for, it's actually going to have uh, pretty much all the functions and ways that you can script for Black Ops 3. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing uh, Sublime text and we're going to be configuring it. That way it'll read GSC files and it'll give you an autocomplete. So uh, first things first, there's going to be a link in the video description. It's going to direct you right to Make Sense's um, web page. And on his web page, he actually has a cool sublime GSC and CSC autocomplete. Now, it's pretty much the same as the one that Call of Duty provided for us. But this one is a little bit more in-depth. And it has uh, a lot of cool autocompletes for you. So if anything, first thing you want to do is you want to download sublime text. It's going to be a link right over here. It's going to say get it here. Click on that. This is going to pop up. And what you want to do is you want to get it for whatever platform you're running. So in my case, I'm getting the Windows 64 bit. So I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it already downloaded. So you're going to click on it. on me there we go all right cool so it's right over here it says sublime text so double click on it install it you know go through all the processes you know just press next next and then uh, it's install it me I'm not gonna install it because I already have it and then once you already have sublime what you want to do is you want to open it up it's going to open up your files just like this. But for you, once you first run it, it's going to look like this. And the next thing you want to do is you want to go right back to the page that we were just on for Make Sense. And you want to download his Sublime GSC and CSC autocomplete. So click on that. It's going to direct you right to a Mediafire link. You know, click download. Get that one too. Of course, you're going to need WinRare to extract this. So once you already have the file, you know, open it up. Now it's going to be all this information right over here. It's going to say BO3 underscore ZMGSC and so on. So we're just going to leave this raw file open for a second. And now we're going to go to the Sublime. Now on Sublime, what you want to do is you want to go over to Preferences. And you want to click on Browse Packages because we want to install these packages into the Sublime text. So click on that, Browse Packages. It's going to open up a folder. And what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all of these. And you're just going to drag it over. It's not going to say Replace for you because you don't have the files. But for me, yeah, I'm just going to say yeah. That's cool. And once that's done, close up the window. Now go over to view and then you're going to see syntax you're going to go into this row and then you're going to go up to black ops 3 and you're going to make sure gsc is checked once that's done it's going to give you all the auto completes for scripting you know this will this will be a big help if you're trying to learn how to script and it has a lot of useful information so let's say if I'm writing out a script and I want to make my first function. So as you can see, the autocomplete comes up and it also has definitions for what it'll do. So right now it's what I want is function. I could just press enter and it'll pop up right there. And let's say this function is um, do stuff. And it can go like that. Press enter some squiggly lines in now let's say if I want to make a trigger 
for um let's say uh to for something to be activated whether it's an easter egg you know i'm not really gonna make a script but i'm just giving you guys examples on how this works so let's say if i want to make an entity and i'm calling it uptown and then i can type in get ends and as you can see it's already starting to do an autocomplete for me so what i want to do is make a get entity and it's going to do for the target name so if i click on this one or i press enter does an autocomplete for me so now it makes it a lot easier so let's say i could do switch or let's say if I wanted to do a hint string. So set. And as you can see, if I start putting hints, it'll do hint string. Now, check it out. And let's say if I wanted a set no cursor or set cursor. And as you can see, it does an autocomplete for me. So it's an easy way of doing scripting. Just in case you can't really remember what kind of uh, steps you have to take towards scripting an item in a certain way, the autocomplete is your best friend. Uh, once I've got it, it's I can't look back. You know, now I can't script without it. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.